Shalom and welcome to Counting the Cost, a linguistic analysis of Hebrew numbers. Today we will talk about the number for a thousand and we will see that it means strength in being yoked. The word for thousand in Hebrew is Eleph, Genesis 20, 16. And unto Sarah he said, Behold, I have given thy brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, he is to thee a covering of the eyes unto all that are with thee and with all other. Thus she was reproved. Exodus 12:37, And the children of Israel journeyed from Ramses to Sukkot, about six hundred thousand on foot that were men beside the children. So we see that it's used just for ordinary counting of things or people. Exodus 20, verse 6, And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Psalm 50, verse 10, For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. Psalm 84, 10. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. So we see here that thousand is just used as a large indeterminate number. Nobody's going out and counting the 1,000 hills that uh, the father owns the cattle upon those hills and then, oh, then we stop counting and he doesn't owe the cattle anymore. It's just used as a very large, indeterminate number. This word, this root, also can mean cattle. Deuteronomy 28, 4. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kine, and the flocks of thy sheep. Kine is a good old King James word. It's a very old plural of the word cow. And if you're thinking that this root, LF, Aleph, sounds like Aleph, the letter Aleph, uh, you are correct. And in fact, if you are familiar with the uh, Paleo Hebrew uh, glyph that represents this letter Aleph, it is the head of an ox. Proverbs 14.4 Where no oxen are, the crib is clean but much increase is by the strength of the ox. So in fact, the singular ox at the end of this verse is a different word. This word always appears for the plural, either as kine, plural cows, or oxen for the plural of ox. These words come from a verb root, Allah, which can either mean to learn or to teach. It's not the common word for learning or teaching, which is lamad, and comes from the idea of, uh, of goading someone in a direction. But this idea comes from um, the concept of being yoked together. And so one learns from the other one. In English, we can see that the words for learn and teach are completely unrelated for each other. But in Hebrew, they're always related to each other. Job 35.11 Who teacheth us more than the beasts of the earth? and maketh us wiser than the fowls of heaven. Proverbs 22:25. Lest thou learn his ways, and get a snare to thy soul. Another related root is aloof, and this is uh, translated as a chief or a prince. You remember several of the other numbers we saw also relate to uh, stations in, in the army or some kind of concept of rulership or leadership. And this word, uh, LF, is also related to that idea. Of course, these people are of higher station than the people whose positions come from the words related to 304. Genesis 36, 15. These were dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz, the firstborn son of Esau, Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke Kenaz. 
Jeremiah 13.21 What wilt thou say when he shall punish thee? For thou hast taught them to be captains, and as chief over thee. Shall not sorrows take thee as a woman in travail? Aluf also is translated as a guide or even a friend. The idea is that two people are yoked together, just as oxen are yoked together, and they help one another on their path. Proverbs 2.17 Which forsaketh the guide of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God. Proverbs 17.9 He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. What does thousand mean in the spiritual life of, of a believer? First, we know that we should be yoked together with Yeshua, as he encouraged us in Matthew 11 and other places. He says his, his yoke is easy and his burden is light. And by being yoked together with him, he guides our path, he gives us strength, he teaches us how we should live in this world. We are also, as a body, yoked together. As Paul uh, uh, has noted in 2 Corinthians, he says, do not be unequally yoked. And you can see the picture there of maybe a very large, mature animal trying to be yoked with a, a young, different kind of animal. They cannot work together. They will each pull in their own direction. And so we need to be united directionally in the work that we're doing in this world. We are designed and encouraged to learn. We're exhorted many times in Proverbs to learn, learn, learn all the ways, uh, different things we can learn from animals, different things we learn from our parents, what we learn from Torah. Uh, even Yeshua himself learned obedience by what he suffered in this life, according to Hebrews. It's interesting that in 1 Corinthians 2.16, it says that we have the mind of Messiah. I think most people look at that and they think, oh, I have a new renewed mind and I have the mind of Messiah. But it doesn't say that. It says we have it together. And so we should be more and more aware of uh, who we're walking this walk with, how we're walking, and are we doing what it says in Proverbs, iron sharpening iron, and uh, learning from each other and, and guiding each other, being friends on this walk, so that we can be strengthened in our walk. I'm sure as you think about these uh, ideas, many other inferences will come to you from these related roots. This is the end of this series. There is only one last number that uh, appears in Hebrew, and that is Rivava. It's frequently Rivavot in the plural. And it's translated as thousands of thousands, or millions, or even myriads, and that's the idea. However, it comes from the word for four, and we covered it in, in that uh, session of this series of counting the cost. So counting the cost, all the numbers that exist in Hebrew, there are distinct numbers for one through ten. There is a distinct number for a hundred, for a thousand, and then a related word to four, for thousands of thousands. And that's all the numbers there are. The Father taught us to uh, ask that we might number our days aright. While you're doing that, keep your eyes on the sky. Your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom. <laughs>